unhappy tidings. The one assailed by the fiend sleeps still like the bear. Fair Mistress Miko, the rite cannot be performed with the beast abroad. Cyrus Whining Car! A monk spirit is equal to any monster! <sighs> this accursed wound! Till it heals, I am helpless. The right left undone. Oh, I sure wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of her. Oh, but we have guests. Forgive the storm of my rage. My shame knows no bounds. The wind blew you here. Surely it was not by chance. Will you hear my tale? The Angry Mountain. A rite must be performed there, lest fire consume us. But disaster looms. A monk was sent to pray, yet a beast blocked his path. The fiend loomed, monstrous. Fierce of fang and sharp of claw. He ran for his life. I longed to hunt it, but I faced another foe and suffered this wound. A great fire dragon, Tatsunaga the Terror. Now he is no more. Forgive my boldness, but the beast blocks our lifeline. Slay it in my stead. I greet your kind words, as the step in high summer greets the falling rain. Head first to the west. You will find a mountain path. There the monster waits. Oh, guiding spirit, guardian of rock and flame, protect these brave souls.
Get out of here! Go on, go away! <sighs> go away, or I will eat you! The beast is upon us. Stand fast! I... I am the spirit of the mountain! And I have very, very sharp claws! If you do not want to be torn to pieces, you had better get out of here! We're going nowhere! Not until you promise to stop bullying innocent monks and let the villagers climb the mountain! Huh? Um, was it something I said? Sh shouldn't they be running away? Wha what are we going to do? Shut up, idiot! They will hear us! How are we going to scare them away if you keep jabbering? <laughs> Atsuko, now we are in trouble. Shut up, Atsuko. If you had not fallen over, we would never have ended up in this mess. <laughs> so much for our big scary monster. It's just a couple of little ones. You surprised us, darlings. Foolish children. What possessed you to risk your lives with such recklessness? <sighs> no, we never meant it. <clears throat> we have done no wrong. Miko's right has to be stopped. A tragedy looms. Yes, yes! You have to listen to my brother. Miko wants to do a horrible thing and we have to stop her. Seems these bairns have got a bee in their bonnet about something. We'd better get to the bottom of this. You will hear us out. Other grown-ups ignore us, as mountains do rain. Do you really think they will? Is someone finally going to listen to us? I think so, and they seem very strong. With them on our side, people are sure to listen. Hmm. <clears throat> We have a hideout, a den, like a fox's home. We will meet you there. Hurry, hurry! for coming. We have been awaiting you, as seeds await spring. These people, my son, the travelers you spoke of? Light in the darkness? Yes, mother, they came. The ones who did not treat us as horses treat flies. You said you were trying to stop the right. Why would you wish to do so? The right is sacred, or so we have long been taught. But this is just wrong. To appease the gods, a sacrifice will be made. Our own dear mother. <sighs> Human sacrifice? Oh my, this right is just not right. Miko gathered us. She made a grave pronouncement. A great shadow fell. In happier times, we offered up fruit, silk, corn. But those days are gone. Without sacrifice, living flame will consume us. 
The volcano's rage. <sighs> the Lord of Shadows has got a lot to answer for. I was selected. A gift for the volcano. A live offering. But why me? Why now? It was the mountain that chose. Or so Miko said. Mother gave us life. So we had to fight for hers. It is our duty. A noble cause indeed. I see now why you did what you did. For the whole tree's sake, one leaf falls into the flames. Perhaps I should go. No! Do not say that! You know your sacrifice is just an excuse! A few short days passed. Our mother saw Miko go, where she should not be. Miko learned of this. She now wants the truth buried. Her mother also. She hides a secret, up there on the mountainside. Why else would she go? It certainly sounds like something fishes afoot. Maybe the lad is right. It can't hurt to take a look, at least. <gasps> you will take us there. This is music to our ears, as sweet as birdsong. Beyond this ladder, a path leads into darkness, the volcano's heart.
dead end it seems. All twists and turns exhausted. The path leads nowhere. Oof. Well, it's a shame and all, but how about we get out of here? I don't know about you, but I'm sweating like a... What in the world was that? It didn't sound good, whatever it was. Down there! Look! Tatsunaga, the beast Miko spoke of. But did she not claim to have slain it? This is her secret. She did not beat the dragon. She left it to live. That liar, that cheat! Mother will not die for this! Miko must be stopped! Let us hurry back. The people deserve to know. The truth must be told.
Everybody! Be still, Atsuo. You must be like a spring breeze, not a howling gale. I will not be still. I will howl it to heaven. Tatsunaga lives! What nonsense he speaks. Tatsunaga is no more. Miko told us so. No! The creature lives! It roars and howls in its lair, loud as the mountain. <sighs> you lie, wretched child. A beast blocks the way upward you could not have passed. Ha! I am the beast! The unholy fiend you feared? Me and my sister. What? We took our mother and sought to keep you from her with a bold disguise. Idiot children! Your games will see us all killed by the mountain's rage! Ha! Why believe you? You whose tales of bold conquest were naught but hot air. The beast was not slain. You gave away our futures to save your own skin. Snake, devil, spider. You seek not sacrifices. You seek dragon food. Your scheme lies exposed. Your bargain with the dragon will not save you now. And what of you? hmm? The son who fought beside you. Was his soul sold too? Enough! <gasps> Hush, mewling kitten. What do you know of the truth? Of sacrifices? <laughs> Can it truly be? The dragon's death a facade? Dislodged by the breeze? If so, why all this? Why sate the mountain's anger? We die anyway. Silence! The dragon is gone. My beloved son slew him and paid with his life. Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> now, meddling brat, test the mountain's wrath no more. You risk all our lives. Bring forth your mother. The flames burn ever stronger while our time grows short. You shall not have her! I see through your web of lies. A cursed spider! <gasps> no! That's rule! Come! Quickly! Tsunaga! You! See? The dragon lives! Miko! She gave us to him! He will eat us all! <laughs> Steady! Fire! Again! Stop! Stay your weapons! Though this may seem a dragon, it is but a boy! <gasps> Mistress Miko! To sate your hunger, I give up my mortal form. The fox feeds her cub. No! Mistress Miko! Quickly! Fire! He will kill us all! Fate hangs by a thread. 
We must fight fire with cold steel. You must face the beast. So it swallow the priestess. Be on your guard. The beast flees! Chastened! Dust settles! Sunlight returns! The village is saved! The bitter truth dawns. Day breaks. It's light harsh, cruel. Miko is no more. First Ryu, now Miko. The lions taken from us. Only sheep remain. Did you see her trying to protect that thing before it ate her? What was that about, huh? Who can know her mind? The sun of her heart eclipsed. Treachery blinds her. But one thing is clear. Until its flame is smothered, the beast is a threat. Tatsunaga's lair, at the heart of the mountain, reached by the Great Gate. It must be unlocked. Miko's maid, she has the key. Come now, to the shrine.